What's going on guys, Sticks here with the Token Minorities, and uh, once again bringing you some high quality content. I promise that the quality will pick back up once the playoffs hit, but once I was locked into the first seed in my conference by week 8, I just kind of stopped giving any semblance of a crap about the rest of the season, and also it's kind of getting burnt out on Monza a little bit at the moment, but that's beside the point. We are here with our week 10 game against Andrew, and he has a very scary team. The team that I brought was literally just copied and pasted from, I forget which playoff team it was. This was back in season six when I had Coco, Swampert, Buzzwell, and Raichu, so I just copied and pasted a team and then grabbed a Needle Queen set and a Celesteela set that I had used in the in, earlier in the season. Just threw it on a team together. I was like, you know what? Screw it. That sounds good enough. And really just, quite frankly, I wanted the season to get over with. This CPC season has kind of been a crap show in terms of, I believe there have been maybe two weeks where people have actually gotten, where the league as a whole has gotten over half its games done by the actual deadline. I think every single week we are having multiple extensions uh, and all of that. So I'm just kind of like, whatever, let's just get to playoffs. Like I have my first seed clinched and I just like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fully, fully checked out. But either way, we are up against Andrew and I quite honestly didn't even remember what his team was. I was just like, okay, well, there's Thunderous, Salazzle, Finny, Necrozma. Cool, whatever. Let's just hop right into it and see what happens. I lead with my Coco as I was kind of expecting his Necrozma. And this is a Calm Mind Coco, so I was like, maybe I can set up on it. I'm going to go straight into my Nita Queen as he actually makes a nice prediction. Goes for the Shattered Psyche, but because I do have the Pyapa Berry, I will be able to live that easily. And because I will get KO'd by another Psychic, I'm just going to pull the switch straight into my Swampert. I have a Rindo Berry, so I will be able to hit this Thunderous for a little bit of damage. I mean, still go back into my Coco after this because considering he went for the Shattered Psyche and not a Sludge Wave turn one, I'm feeling like, well, you know what? He's pro he probably doesn't even have Sludge Wave, but he over predicts, goes for Psychic and I'm able to knock him out with a Scald, but then he goes into his Necrozma and this is where the game starts to go downhill. He goes to the Photon Geyser and quite frankly, I should have just gone into my Coco and Calm Minded up, but I wasn't thinking. I was like, eh, screw it. Let's just go into Celesteela. This, pretty sure this is a Spadef set. I could be wrong, but I will just go straight for the Leech Seed as he does Calm Mind. And at this point, I'm just like, well, nothing on this team takes on a Calm Mind Necrozma at all. So this thing is going to get a ton of kills as I'm going to go into my Coco and he goes for the Heat Wave and that does a ton of damage like that does so much so I am just gonna I I didn't even bother calcing at all I was like screw it I probably take this photon geyser I'm gonna roost up but lo and behold I actually don't end up taking this photon geyser and I would have gone for my z move but again I was like yeah I probably live this close enough but I go into my buzzwool and that actually does end up that little damage that I would have gotten off with my z move does end up mattering as leech life does activate his weakness policy and he is able to knock out my buzzwool so yeah, three mons go down to the Necrozma just because I was like, eh, close enough. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to go uh, into my Raichu, go for the Thunderbolt and knock him out, uh, which, yeah, I mean, knocks him out. And yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of lose because Salazzle just beats me. And I am going to go for the Volt Switch as he does reveal the Magic Coat. Not sure what he was predicting right there. And he does chew his Wakan Berry. And instead of going to my Celesteela, which is a very easy play, I instead go into my Nidoqueen because, again, brain turned off and he is able to outspeed and knock me out with the Surf. Really not sure what I was going for, but now I go into my Celesteela, which, I mean, looking back, I'm just like, why did I go into that and not my Raichu, which claimed to kill with Thunderbolt? But either way, I mean, this is just kind of a, yeah, um, not fully sure what I was thinking because Raichu would have outsped. I would have had a full health Celesteela to take on the rest of his team, but nah, that's not, that's not how I'm doing this week 10. I prefer to take a ton of damage on my Celesteela in the process. And at this point, I'm pretty sure Salazzle just KOs with Fire Blast. He goes into Hitmonlee. I'm like, whatever, this thing has high jump kick. It's going to go for it. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can live one, but no, I mean, Hitmonlee is reckless. It hits insanely hard so I mean the protect does make himself make him damage himself a little bit but he goes for the second one crits me not probably didn't matter at all uh, and then I'm just going to go into my Raichu and at this point it will be the end of the game because I'm going to go for Psy Shock knocks out the Hitmonlee but Salazzle's I mean I figured that Salazzle would be able to come in and just be able to knock me out. But as it actually turns out, Slazzle Sludge Wave does not quite knock me out and I don't even go down to Life Orb but the combination of Slazzle plus Scizor will be able to will be able to uh, win the game for him. So we do finish the season eight and two, but I mean, the last two games, I don't even really count because it was already had clinched the first seed and we are, are already into playoffs. So I mean, whatever it happens, 
good game to Andrew. He beat me 1-0. And yeah, so once again, promise that the quality will pick up uh, once we get into playoffs. Just insanely busy at the moment, just fitting in the games whenever I can and recording and recording uh, in the like five minutes that I have between different crap that's going on right now. So I'm very much, I very much apologize for the low quality of the last two CPC uploads. I promise it will pick up in playoffs. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.